amazing gift. And if you think you don't like green tea, you must try Andrew's green oh. tea. I mean, it's it's head and shoulders above anything else I've ever tried. And we we don't have a lot of tea, unfortunately. I know. What happens is because of the internet, HSN.com, um, products will disappear before they you have a chance too. to talk about them on air. But what we have here. Um, What's interesting, we'll talk about first, we'll talk about the Earl Grey green tea. Um, Muriel loves Earl Grey tea, Earl Grey tea. And Earl Grey tea is made with black tea. Black tea is not the healthy variety of tea. Green tea is the healthy variety of tea. So as I've said before, uh, I thought I would surprise Muriel because I kept saying it's, it's, it's black tea, it's black tea. And so I made her an Earl Grey tea that was made out of green tea. And, and she loved it. She didn't know the difference, even though she swore she would. Um, so we have her Earl Grey green tea, which if you read the reviews, I think there's over 100 reviews on that probably, and, and they're all, I think, 4.5, 4.6 stars. So again, it's about 90% positive yep. reviews. If you love Earl Grey tea, uh, you will fall in love with an, the first Earl Grey tea that's giving you the benefits of green tea. So we take our wonderful mild Sencha green tea that never gets bitter, and we combine it with the wonderful um, Earl Grey flavor. So Earl Grey, the, the bergamot flavor that makes Earl Grey uniquely its own, that's all that's in there. And then we have my jasmine, if you like mild jasmine flavor. Again, that never gets bitter. You should go to my blog post at wordsonwellness.com. You'll see a picture of my refrigerator shelf that has six teapots on it that Three of those teapots are the green tea, and three of those teapots are peppermint or chamomile. My chamomile isn't available yet. Oh. I had just tested it out, and that's over the last several months. It will be available soon. Organic chamomile. We had rejected a lot of uh, organic chamomile because it wasn't. I want chamomile that never gets bitter, so you could steep it for hours if you want, because that's what I do in the refrigerator. You really extract its benefits. So my teas are truly unique in that they are designed for people, if you're like me, I really don't like green tea. I've never been a big tea drinker, unless that tea never gets bitter and has a really nice, subtle flavor. And all of my teas, we reject probably 95% of the tea we see because it won't meet our standards. And even that's assuming we, we sent out for the best organic teas possible. So whatever your preference, plus my teas, literally in those teapots, there's one tea bag. So the, and that one tea bag is, is diffusing into probably the equivalent of six or eight cups of tea. So it's so affordable as well when you have teas that are this concentrated and don't get bitter. You could steep them longer and it ends up being pennies a cup. It, it is, and you know what? And it really does inspire you to drink green tea. I think we all have an understanding how good it is for you, but most of us don't like the bitterness or don't like the taste. And then it's crazy because they have all these green tea drinks and they're loaded with sugar. Oh, which one do you have over there? Well, I just want to show everybody yeah. this. It's kind of funny. See, this is your typical Earl Grey tea yeah. made with black tea. This is your Earl Grey tea made with green tea. And what's wonderful, oh. if you smell... Yeah. And if you smell, they're, they're fairly okay. similar. Right. But if anything, oh, are, the though. Earl Grey green tea is more subtle. It is. And, and, and it's, it's really something that I encourage you to read the reviews. If you're That's someone beautiful. who likes Earl Grey tea, now you could drink your Earl Grey tea and wow. you will enjoy it with, with the knowledge that you're getting the benefits of green tea. My, my jasmine green tea doesn't get better. My peppermint tea, organic peppermint tea grown in the Pacific Northwest of the U.S. here, organic. And again, mint tea is, is lovely. It's wonderful. But you steep it for too long, and, and too long could be five or ten minutes. It gets nasty and bitter, not mine. Mine sits in the refrigerator sometimes for days at a time before I'll pour it out of that, that teapot and drink it. Because throughout the day, I talked about that I drink my tea throughout the day. And last time I was on, I said, what I drink throughout the day, it's, it's healthier than drinking water. It is. And the reason why, that tea that I diffuse in my refrigerator, it's 99.99% water. It's just water with a very tiny amount of the naturally diffused ingredients from the tea. Because I don't eat the tea. It just diffuses into the water. So these are a wonderful way. It's something that in both Europe and Asia, they have a tremendous advantage over us in the terms of that they drink a great deal of tea. And I think soft drinks are the, are the worst thing anyone could ever contemplate drinking. Uh, with all due respect to those companies that make them, um, they are not in the best interest of anybody who drinks them. 
So to the extent you can brew yourself some tea and not some bottled tea, which God knows what they put in it, um, but just make your own tea. Take some wonderful, lovely, pure water, heat it up, diffuse from these organic leaves of peppermint, organic leaves of green tea, or in the future from our organic blossoms of chamomile, which should be coming in the next couple of weeks. That's the way to enjoy a healthy, natural glass of water that just has some of Mother Nature in it as well. Well, they're fragrant, they're beautiful. Even the presentation, like even the way the tea bag is designed, I mean, it's, 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 it's an Andrew Lessman experience. I mean, it really is. Well, there's no, we use no string. No. Nope. Because I don't want string tea, maybe string cheese, but not right. string tea. So there's no string, there's no tag. You know what the tea is. You don't need to have a tag that has inks on it and paper on it. Who knows if those inks are organic or that paper's organic or, God, I, it's just, Unnecessary. So all you have is this wonderful natural tea bag and the organic um, plant material, the organic leaves it contains. That is it. Um, unfortunately, it, it's so straightforward making a proper tea. And, and I doubt if all those other tea companies, if the owner of the company actually tastes every single batch of tea and rejects almost all of them. Remember when I was a little kid, there was that coffee commercial with, what is it, El Exigente? Uh, and he used to reject all the coffee, and then he'd come to the town, and he'd say, yeah, I like this one coffee, and that was, the town would rejoice. Oh, my God. I, I sometimes remember. feel with the tea that I'm, I'm, not even, I'm not even accepting anything, that literally with chamomile, we wanted to do it two or three years ago. We kept rejecting it for years. But I'd rather not have a tea than have a tea that isn't perfect. So when you get our teas, you'll see why our teas are, again, like the meal replacement. A tea is a flavor thing. To think that 90 plus percent of the reviews of our teas are positive reviews, yeah. that's because they're not just the best organic leaves that you could find. They not only will not get bitter, but if you're like me and you hate green tea, you'll still, still love these teas. You really will. And I have to say, hot or cold, by the way, and, and they are, they're just fragrant, they're delicious. I keep calling it, it's just a wonderful experience. And I promise you, if you don't like green tea, you have to try this. It's not like anything else you've ever tried. So, of course, you choose your Earl Grey green, your, your jasmine, or and, your peppermint. And when you look at the, and you could choose whatever teas you want, when you look right. at the, the pricing even, those 90 tea bags, that would be about 50 cents a tea bag. Yeah. But mind you, at least the way I make tea at my house, mm -hmm. that tea bag is making four, five, six cups of tea or more. So what you're talking about is literally a dime a serving or less. So it's unbelievably affordable, and it's one of the healthiest habits we could incorporate. Because again, I'm not a big fan of juice. When you make juice, even with a juicer at home, you discard the healthiest part of that fruit or vegetable. And what you're drinking is something that's more concentrated in sugars and carbohydrates and not as concentrated in nutrition. So when it comes to a beverage, this is a beverage that's really, as I said, 99.99% water. And you're giving yourself the benefits of hydration and water, but with all the protective compounds these wonderful teas contain. So it's just a, a good way to make a shift that is a shift, they're non-caloric as well, zero calories. And I don't put any honey or anything else right. in them because they t just plain taste great on their own. I mean, they really do, but exceedingly limited. In fact, the, it's so rare that we could even do a presentation because to Andrew's point, if you're like me, I wait for them to pop up in the internet and then they literally disappear. But honestly, especially here in America, I mean, to get people to rave about a tea, you know he's doing something right. And it really is. When you think about the cost effectiveness of this in the gl global or the bigger picture, remember you can steep it over and over and over and over again without it ever getting bitter, without any of that crazy aftertaste that most right. of us don't like. Yep. And uh, well, we should move or we're not going right. to have any time to talk about the Today Special. I know, exactly. And, and I'm sorry, we should have had Muriel out here to talk I about her Earl Grey tea. I was actually kind of looking because for her. It, it wouldn't exist, that Earl Grey tea, which yes. has become so many people's favorites, I know. Um, that it wouldn't exist without her. And, and it really is. An